up here at Snow Park, we're not too far away from the finals. First up, we've got the women's. Hey, I'm Devin Logan. I'm from uh, Mount Snow, Vermont. Uh, the format for the girls, there are only eight girls competing, so they're only doing a three-run final. So three runs to put down your best stuff and then see who ends up on top. On course, we have New Zealand's Rose Battersby with her first run of 62.25, coming in on her second run right now, up onto the cannon box and off she gets. What has she got for us on her second run? Coming into the big side of the jump, a lot of the ladies are not hitting that side with a big old 360 safety grab. Absolutely awesome run. As 7.20 off the big side. That is absolutely an awesome run by Rose Battersby. On course, we have Dara Howell right now. Coming off that first jump with a cork 720, that is one amazing trick for a female right now. And on to the big side of the second jump with a 540, absolutely awesome run. And on course right now we have Kim Lamar coming switch into the first jump. We don't see too many ladies hitting this first jump switch right now. Let's see if she can back up her first run of a score of 79.25. Coming into the last jump right now, what has she got for us? A big old 540 mute landing switch, absolutely perfect. Coming into the whale's tail backwards, absolutely awesome run shaping up for Kim Lamar. And a 180 off, that is absolutely a rad run, she'll be wrapped with that. On course right now, we have Devon Logan coming in switch as well to the first jump. What has she got for us? And a switch 540 also, also landing very well. It's a very technical trick to be hitting that first jump switch. What has she got for us on the big jump at the bottom? And a cork 720 landing. Absolutely awesome run shaping up for Devon Logan right now. Up onto the whale's tail and a 360 tail grab out. Absolutely awesome. She'll be wrapped with that. As it turns out, Devon Logan wins again, backing up the first place yesterday at the halfpipe with Kim Lamar closely in second by only half a point. And in third place was Dara Howe with a 70.50. And New Zealand's Rose Battersby in fourth place with a 69.0. Absolutely amazing final for the females in today's Winter Games women's final slope style. How does it feel, number one? Uh, it feels great. Took number one yesterday and again today I'm ecstatic. And here we are about to start the men's slope style final here today at the 2011 Pure 100% New Zealand Winter Games. On course right now we have Yannick from Switzerland with a 270 out of the up rail and unfortunately going down. Let's see if he can better that on a second run. And Sarah with the left side 900 tail grab coming into the second jump backwards. Let's see what he's got for us. With a switch right side bio 1080 stomping it coming into the last feature. Jonas with the cork, double cork 1080. Eric with the double cork 1260, unfortunately going down. Let's see if he can better that in the second run. And on course, we have New Zealand's Jossie Wells coming in with a switch butter 270 to the down rail and weirdly missing the jump for the up rail but being very creative with a nose blunt 270 out. Coming to the first jump, switch right side 1080. This run is definitely going to be up there in the top three. Coming into the bottom jump right now. Switch, double cork, 1080 safety grab. And coming into the final feature, what has he got for us? And a switch, 540 on, just taking a bit too much speed on there and unfortunately going down. Let's see if he can do better on his second run. And on course right now, we have Nick Gepper with the 450 on, 270 out. Coming into the tire with a misty flip hand plant. That is one creative trick. Coming into the first jump with the switch, right side double cork 900. Coming into the final jump, what has he got for us today? And a left side double cork 1080, ladies and gentlemen, that is going upside down twice, completely the opposite direction as the first jump. That is one hard trick on the final feature, doing a switch 720 off. That is definitely the run to beat so far. And PC Fossey with the kangaroo flip, absolutely stomping that landing. What has he got for us on the second jump? And a switch right side, double cork 1080, almost going down. Oh, and unfortunately doing a little bit of a revert there. As you can see there, just kind of spinning around, losing control. That will be a throwaway run. Hopefully he can step it up next run. And on course right now we have Gus Kenworthy 
What has he got for the first feature? 450 onto the rail, absolutely technical trick. Come in and switch to the cannon rail, switch 270, misty 630 out. This is shaping up to be one heck of a run for Gus Kenworthy. What has he got on the first jump? Double cork, 1260 mute. That is absolutely unreal. What has he got to finish his run off? Switch, unnatural, 1080 tail grab, landing absolutely perfect. Coming into the final feature now, just to finish his run off. Switch 540 on to the Rodeo 5 out. Absolutely amazing run. That will definitely be the run to beat today. Obviously the pressure has been on these athletes, we're seeing multiple crashes in the second run. And in the gate we have Nick Gepper with a first run score of 76.25, let's see if he can up that with a switch double cork rodeo 900. There was a lot of pressure, I definitely felt a lot of my shoulders. Um, going into finals I, I did a trick that I had never done in competition before. It was um, an unnatural double cork 10, um, I've never done one in a contest before. But um, I got through the first one, which was really scary, got my heart going. And after that, um, I knew I could land it, so I did it a few more times and I got it down. With Jossie Wells falling on his first run, he'll really be trying to up this run. Let's see what he's got for us. Coming and switch to the first jump. Switch right side 1080 with that tail grab, landing perfect. This is really shaping up to be a good run. Hopefully he can hold on to it all the way to the end. Switch, double cork, 1080, safety grab. And Josh Wells coming into the final feature with a little bit of trouble with his first run. With a switch 540 on, landing better, nose butter five off, absolutely stomping that run. Let's see where that places him against Gus Kenway's first run. And unfortunately, Josh Wells not getting the score he needed to take that top spot from Gus Kenworthy. But still an awesome final with Gus Kenworthy in first, Jossie Wells from New Zealand in second, and from the USA, Nicholas Gepper in third place. All right, Gus, first of all, congratulations on today. And I, I guess yesterday, how did it feel coming in today? You had a win under your belt. What were the thoughts? Um, yeah, the win yesterday definitely gave me a little bit of confidence, and I was feeling pretty good, skiing well. I'm pretty stoked heading into the event, and it was awesome weather. The course is great. and. Yeah. I, I already had a run kind of set in my head that, that I knew I wanted to put down in finals. Uh, so I tried, I didn't really let that affect me. I was like, all right, I'm going to go out there and do what I have to do. And uh, yeah, got to the bottom, landed everything on my feet and grabbed everything and felt pretty good. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty good day. So that's it for today from Snow Park. We had amazing weather and the riding was second to none. Now the results, much like yesterday's free ski halfpipe. In the women's we saw Devon Logan take out the gold and in the men's it was Josie Wells take out the silver and Gus Kenworthy once again take out the gold in the free ski slope style. Tomorrow at Cadrona for the border cross. So until then, it's good night from the Winter Games crew.